this is my secret <laughs> welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi my name is anusta and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back today we're going to be doing a get ready with me slash makeup tutorial and i'm going to be showing you how i do my makeup without foundation so this is a no foundation makeup routine just to make that clear the first thing i'm going to do is my eyebrows by the way i need a mirror so i might be looking here just for mirror i'm going to brush my eyebrows and I may lay them down. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. It's in the shade, I don't even know what shade this is. Very straight brush. And I will just apply some on the brush, like so. So, you want to apply it in the inner corners of your eyes like this i hope you guys can see me very well just apply it here if you guys are wondering why my skin is looking so good i just did a skincare routine on my tiktok if you guys want this skincare routine on my youtube i am glad to show you that the reason why i say you should use an edge brush is that it's more defined and like it makes it more straight although sometimes i can't even lie i just use the cover it comes with but that's way too much like and then i want to like color correct so i just put it in some places where i just feel like it needs to be there the next thing you want to do is to take a beauty blender and just blend that in this is what i use make sure it's damp please and just dab it in if you're a beginner beginner this video will be extra helpful for you but notice guys i'm not brushing it i'm dabbing it into my skin like beating the face you know when they say beat the face and it's long that's what they mean so just beat it into your skin you want to go by your eyes it helps if you look up i like what i'm doing and i want to give my face a lifted look so i'm going to blend upwards instead of blending it down okay cool so this side is blended but this side isn't i'm going to blend this side out what I'm doing is just tapping in the makeup and I'll look above my eye. Some people like really bright on the eyes, but I don't really like bright on the eyes like that. It's a really good concealer. I do recommend this. To be honest, I said doing my makeup two months ago. I said doing it myself and I've learned so much. I am willing to share whatever I've learned with my YouTube community. Like I'm not gatekeeping or anything. But yeah, this is it blended out and this is how it looks blended out. It kind of looks like skin because I didn't really do much. But the next thing you want to do is just to put in powder. I use the L'Oreal. This is how it looks like. This powder, you can see is used to the Pro Max. You know when powder just falls on the floor and like everything just gets crusty. Like this is evidence that I use this stuff to the Pro Max. You just want to take a little on your beauty blender and then like squeeze it so that the excess powder just comes off dab it into your face so like this it just gives you that airbrush look and just you know gives you the airbrush finish and your makeup just looks really nice once you apply that can you see the difference between this and this yeah that's powder rub it in and then i Beat it in. Beat it in place. I don't know if the vlog will come out before this, but happy new year, guys. How has your new year been? How is 2023 treating you guys? Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? Literally, I feel like when YouTubers ask that, like they don't necessarily want to know. But me, I genuinely want to know, like, what have you guys been up to? Let me know in the comment section. But yeah this this is it simple basic what i'm going to do next is just to use my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray and i'm just going to set that 
I love setting spray like it just brings the whole makeup together and now once that is setting the next thing I'm going to do is eyeliner so this is how to make your eyeliner dangerously straight get an eyeliner that looks like this with this tip it looks like a pen or you get an eyeliner that looks like this with this tip it looks like a brush if you guys can see okay let me say this looks like a pen this looks like a marker so you need any of those two but i would recommend this marker look over this pen look any day anytime and i'm going to show you why is i don't know if i should come a bit closer so you guys can see me is that too close here we go i hope that is a good angle i can't tell because i'm using the back of my phone to film what you want to do is to draw like so one line and then draw another line down to connect it this line down is going to be straight and then you want to fill it in so as you can see we drew a triangle and we filled it in you guys can rewind if you don't understand hopefully you would get to understand if you rewind it and watch it all over again but yeah this is basically what i am doing drawing a line and filling it in you guys can see how that just looks it just took this look to the next level that's what you want to do for this next eye as well draw the line and then draw another line that connects it okay like so and then fill it in i can't lie is it just me or they look a bit different <laughs> but yeah here is one trick i usually do anytime i have a mistake i get a cotton board and i dip it into my cellar water and i just correct it but i think my cotton bud has finished so i don't have any cotton bud right now what i can do instead get a micellar water and then i would probably get like, some cotton pads instead of cotton boards i get cotton pads and then i dip it in obviously i won't be able to correct the mistake right now because i don't have like a proper mirror but you can just fold it and then correct your mistake this only works if you don't have foundation on. If you do have foundation, then you can just go over with your foundation or powder and correct that mistake. Easily done. And now that I've fixed that up, I'm just going to go in the inner corner of my eyes. Just to like give the cut eye look. You know, make it more defined. This is literally the step. We're just going to do a triangle. Can you see the difference between this eye and this eye? The next thing I'm going to do is to go in with my Fenty Beauty. I'm going to slightly contour. I'm just blending it in. The next thing I'm going to do is blush. For blush, I'm going to take my high. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty lip gloss. But I'm going to be using it as a blush. And just here, just a little. Like a little goes a long way. I'm just going to dab it in. It just gives my face color. And I like the way it looks. I like smiling when I'm doing this then i do the same thing for here yeah so this is how it looks like when it's all blended in this is what it's giving this is my secret that i've shared with you guys so be grateful the next thing i'm going to use is this slick blush um this is going to be like powdered blush i'm just going to put this on top and you know just give my face a bit of more color so my face won't be you know as creamy but yeah this is the look the next thing i'm going to do is just my lips I, this makeup literally takes 15 minutes and we are out for my lips i'm going to be using this brown pencil bite your lips a bit like this mm. so 
so I use my hand to like just blend it in to be honest I'll just leave my lips like this on a normal day but I'm going to apply lip gloss because why not lip gloss my lip gloss is almost finished i use a clear lip gloss because i like clear lip gloss and for the final touch we're gonna add lashes i can't do my lashes on camera i'll do my lashes and then i'll come back and show you guys so my lashes are done i'm just gonna spray more setting spray in case you guys are wondering this is the airbrush flawless setting spray by charlotte tilbury sets my whole face and yeah this is typically my makeup routine Thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to do the needful which is to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next week bye my lovelies have a wonderful day and a wonderful new year Mwah.